Hey guys, so welcome back. So this, I'm positive, is the, um, I can't remember what AliExpress calls it, but this is the knockoff of the Vixen Port at 2 AZ arm that uh, we've been talking about that we're gonna try and I'm gonna hope, because remember, this is just, I only bought this to see if this would work uh, on the eight inch reflecting telescope when I travel. Now, there was another one, the Hercules. It's another one that you can get from AliExpress. Uh, uh, Hercules, it's kind of like a side mount uh, type of thing, uh, AZ, and it does have slow motion controls and they have three sizes, two and a half inch, four inch, and the six. There are a lot more expensive. I would say at least minimum double for the two and a half inch. And I'm talking about in Canada, of course. So I don't know, you know, because again, if I do take the eight inch, but then it's heavier, uh, then if, I don't know how much this weighs. Um, and then the tripod might be heavier. And then I have to upgrade the uh, my suitcase because I found one that's about the same size, a little bit wider, but even five pounds, five, six pounds lighter because of uh, it's not cloth or material. Um, it's new like uh, carbon fiber type. So everything's gonna add up. So hopefully uh, this is gonna work. So this is what it looks like. They call it Sparta. Um, so this is to see, hopefully this is stronger than that Celestron Omni. This is what it looks like on this side. Slip clutch here, uh, the locking nut, and that's the safety. And over here, I can't take these little plastic, there we go, is where you can put your uh, slow motion controls on either side. And then same over here. It looks pretty nice, uh, you know, type of thing. And it actually, okay, and uh, when you take this rubber out, um, I guess you can tighten the Allen screws down here uh, to give you more or less friction, and it comes with an Allen key. It does feel heavier, for sure. I can't tell exactly what the weight is, but let's go do that. So it comes with, uh, here's your slow motion controls. They look like they're about three inches, roughly, uh, which is fine. So why don't I set this up and get rid of the box and when I'm done, I'll come back to you. Okay, so I have it uh, set up now. Like the Omni, over there has that little tiny grub screw. Screws, it'd just be easier. I guess that's why you get that Allen key uh, is to tighten it down. If it was just a little thumb screw, it would just be quicker. So that's what it looks like. It feels pretty decent. Um, it's not much longer than the Omni, but I like the red, I like the blue, gives it a nice look. And um, the locking nuts here. So what happens is, let's say it was like this. Let's say this guy is almost gonna interfere. It kinda has like a slip clutch where you can open this up, put it, and then you can loosen or tighten. So that's a good feature. I gotta see what it fits on because the bottom, I think it's just a 120 thread tripod type of thing. So it's like, how am I gonna fit this on like a three legged uh, tripod? So that's gonna be a little tricky. Um, anyway, it is what it is. Uh, let's see if this works. It feels more solid than the Omni. Why don't I go get it and do a side by side? Okay, we're back. So here's the Omni. Here's... So if I sit them down like this, they're about the same tallness. The arm is kind of the, the same, but weight wise, it's hard for you guys to tell over there, but this is three and a half pounds and this one is two pounds. So this one, you could just feel, I know it's only a like one and a half pound difference, right? But you could just feel the weight difference. So obviously mean this one would be, be able to take a bit more load. It just depends on what tripod did I use because I was thinking if it had something like this, I could put three tripod legs here. And that's what I was thinking with the thicker tripod legs, aluminum, keep the weight down. So it looks like this is already heavier. The scope is heavier. I can compensate a little bit by getting the lighter luggage. And I wanted to use the aluminum legs, but I have no idea how I would hook it up to that. So that's gonna be, but definitely I could feel 
this one is much better. So this on the eight inch would be unrealistic. I think this one might be just barely acceptable. Now maybe in my situation, I would say maybe because I, I want to have like the largest lightweight, this might be again, just barely acceptable for an eight inch. You know what, one day I do wanna try that uh, Hercules. I don't know, um, you know, maybe for my home, the six inch version is a lot, like 588 and I think it's maybe close to $100 shipping. So it's not cheap. Uh, I wonder like if I should try maybe one day for you guys, the four inch version. And maybe I can use like a medium uh, telescope when I just want quick grab and go. But now the thing is I have an AZ3, I have this one, you know, and now I have this one. And then do I really need a third one, which is the Hercules four inch, I, I don't know. Uh, I think the four inch, I can't remember offhand. But let's give it a go. So the next, let's see if I can adapt something on here and then actually put the eight inch and see is this gonna be realistic enough? Because even though the Hercules two and a half probably would be equivalent to this, the four inch would be just much, much better, probably would be suitable, but then the four inch is a lot more expensive. Uh, this again was $122 Canadian, was I think it's at least double, okay? And then I think the four inch would be at least triple. So I didn't wanna spend that much. Now I think the Twilight, uh, somebody did lend it to me, I tested it out. It's pretty good. Now the legs are way too heavy with inch and a half steel legs. Now I couldn't take that on a suitcase, but it's pretty good. Twilight would be better than this one. So maybe the Twilight would be the best one for the eight inch, but it's too heavy for a suitcase traveling. You know what I mean? So that's, that's out type of thing. But uh, so the only thing really is if this one doesn't is still a little light is either I got to go back to the six inch heritage because I can't go any more bigger. I'm already everything's already adding up as far as weight and size. Right. So it's either this guy's going to work, not going to work, or I have to get maybe a four inch uh, Hercules because uh, I don't see anything else working. And AZ5 is also going to be expensive, uh, $570 uh, Canadian. And I don't even remember if that's including the tripod. So I got to see it. You guys are going to take this journey with me and we're going to see what's going to happen. Okay. Okay, guys. So here's the Celestron Omni. Um, I thought, where the hell is it? I thought this was a 120 thread. It's not because it doesn't fit this type of tripod. So it doesn't fit. It's a 3 8 thread. So I just thought, and this is fluky because I have a... Uh, it's like a CG5 hub. And this is actually bigger. I've already tried it. Sorry, I didn't show you guys. This is actually bigger than this type of hub. So I just did this. I'll show it to you guys. So this fits perfect inside this middle, middle hole. Like perfect, see? And now I found a screw that goes in there and goes perfect. Now then I was thinking, what legs am I going to use? Um, so I have a AZ3, so we're going to take the head off. Uh, I already matched. This is about the same width here. So I'm going to use, this is like an uh, inch, uh, thick steel legs. Now I was thinking of using this tripod here, right? But maybe, uh, inch thick steel legs. It's probably equivalent, I would say, to the aluminum legs that came with the EQ3, 4, and 5 back then, right? So I think that will work. And so I'll take the head off. I'm going to put this there and then that on top, okay? Okay, guys, it's not 100% level, but that's okay. So here it is. So the inch steel legs. Okay, guys, so this whole setup right there is nine and a half pounds. Remember, this setup is, well, remember too, I could put that lower, right? But this whole setup was five pounds. Now this is nine and a half, practically double. 
Okay, guys, uh, I don't think it's gonna work. I mean, if it holds it, okay is steady, but if you look at the tube, uh, it's actually touching right now. I mean, it's being held. It can't even go any down because now it's touching this base. So if this arm was like much bigger, like maybe the Explore Scientific, then it probably would have enough clearance to go down. Um, but anyway, this locking screw here, it's just, I can't even get my fingers like really to tighten it. And then this one's okay. Uh, it can't go any further down. Hopefully you guys can see this. So the only play I have is only from here to there, that's it. Here to there. That's not gonna work. So this mount, I, I don't know. I can either resell it, return it. I don't even know if I can return it anyway. Or just keep it and uh, see what happens. Now I didn't see this problem on the Omni. So maybe the Omni is a little bit, like an inch or two, but it's literally it doesn't make any sense. Or I know what it is, the Omni, Omni, is not here let me show it to you guys so the celestron omni is much smaller like it just comes like a round part over here and then the legs it doesn't come it doesn't jet that far so that's the problem with this mount uh so if it was like shorter or it just went to here it would probably do a lot more clearance but this isn't gonna work you know what, guys i think i'm gonna give up on this eight inch because simply because I don't want to pay for a Explore Twilight because the legs are too thick. Unless again, I got to try to get, maybe use these legs. Uh, it's not cheap, first of all, but also the, I, like I said, I did a video on it, but it's coming out in a couple months. But the arm is much thicker, it goes much higher, and it's much longer. It's probably double the heavier than this, or at least 50%. Uh, the AZ-5 is the same thing. The Hercules is too expensive. So really, I'm kind of, to stay on a budget that's lightweight, it isn't gonna work. Okay, if we put the Skywatcher Heritage on here, it goes to about here, it doesn't even go as low, and it goes to about there. So really, I don't really see any point, uh, this between the Omni that I took. So I think I'm just gonna forget about an eight inch. It's just, it's gonna cost too much. I gotta upgrade luggage. That's heavier, this is heavier. Like everything is just gonna be a lot more awkward. And unless I go to like at least a twilight, which is I think too heavy, and then the weight is gonna be too much for an airplane. I think I'm gonna have to stick to this guy. Leave it on the Omni, because it did fine uh, with the star sense on top. Sell this eight inch, it's not a big deal. And um, take it from there. Uh, I don't know what to do with this Sparta mount. Maybe I could just try to sell it, um, you know, instead of returning it, because I don't know what the policy is with returning it. I'll just try to sell it and uh, recoup my money and see how that goes. Anyway, guys, so I think that's it for the eight inch. I'm just gonna have to stick to the six inch and let's just leave it at that. It's too complicated unless like I want to spend double what I'm thinking of to bring an 8 inch that could work but I don't because it it changes everything and uh, I don't want to do that so anyway let's just forget about that uh, this guy I need to just get to darker skies with a 6 inch because remember I was in a zone 5 or a uh, yellow zone so if I get to at least a green zone I will see more a blue zone or you know border zone 3 uh, 2 I will see a lot more. So that's it for that. Anyway, guys, hopefully you like this journey with me. Sometimes these things work, sometimes they don't. In this case, it didn't work because I think in an airplane six, not too many people are even carrying a six. For me to go crazy and now think that an eight inch is gonna work, and maybe it can if I double at least my budget, um, then uh, maybe that can work, but I think at this, point I don't want to spend that much I was fairly okay-ish with the six if I would have just get to darker skies then I would be even more happier and I appreciated all the comments that you guys did it's just for my niche uh, thinking it was just it's just too much uh, and maybe I needed to go through this because remember too 
until when you have an idea you pursue it until you know you can't do it or it can't be done and then you feel at least satisfied like I tried it and it didn't work so now you know you know you, you can't go up to there you got to go up to here so hopefully that makes sense um, because you'll never know sometimes when you don't do something you're always in your mind you're always thinking what if I would have done it should I have done it should I have done it you know what I mean you're always thinking so until you try something then you'll know okay I tried it couldn't be done so that's it we do the next best thing because I was fairly happy with this guy so why not just stay happy then and just try to get a little darker next time anyway guys if you know anybody getting in the hobby send them my link if you know anybody that's asking a question on the forums uh, about a video that I have, uh, please be so kind enough to share the link with them. And also, I do have a members uh, videos now, which means once a month, I'm going to put a video on there just for people that are subscribed to the members only. It does cost 99 cents once a month, so it's not a lot, and you will get, a, again, one video at least a month and I'll put your name in the description and that's how also you can help contribute to the hobby and me uh, figuring out this stuff buying product to show you guys and uh, that's it why not you why not me okay I'm trying one more thing I'm gonna try to return it or maybe exchange it maybe for the Hercules 2.5 uh, inch one and see uh, if that works if not uh, I'm not willing to pay too much because I think that one's about 250, uh, the two and a half inch. If I get that Hercules two and a half inch before I sell the eight inch, then I'll give it one more opportunity. If not, I really don't want to try anything more, spend any more money. So I'll see if I can exchange it for that and see what they say.